This is the exact place where Hipólito Mora was brutally attacked and his body burned. On videos shared on social, we can see Hipólito's body laying on the ground while burning in flames. I do know that they got pretty pissed, uh, you know, of the last time I was there, because I broke inside the Son of El Chapo's house hours before he was extracted and arrested. You broke into the Son of El Chapo's house? Yeah, dude, and it was, it was absolutely crazy, dude. Of course you did. It was a battle zone Thursday in the city of Culiacan, Mexico, the historic homeland to the violent Sinaloa drug cartel. Police confirmed they were patrolling a neighborhood when they were fired upon from a house. Once they fought back and entered that house, they captured and arrested Ovidio Guzman Lopez, a key figure in the cartel after his father, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, began a life sentence in the U.S. back in July. I told the photographer, I'm going in, and he's like, dude, if you spend more than five minutes in there, we're leaving, we're taking off. We're leaving you there. I just broke in Ovidio's house. I'm gonna try and make some shots inside his place. Bullets everywhere, unexploded grenades. It was, it was blood everywhere. This was his daughters, all covered in blood. Inside and inside was war zone, war zone, like heavy, like 50 calls all over, blood all over, man. I was like stepping in sticky blood all over. This was his room. He had babies. I mean, does that bother you? What is when 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 you have a an insider of the federal government on the U.S. side saying, "Hey, I just want you to know, you got a sixty thousand dollar bounty on your head. We just recovered this off a device." Last time you came down here, just to prove that you were in the fentanyl labs, you brought in video footage of cartel chemists wearing Vigilance Elite hats. Xanax logo, with the Advil logo, with the M30s, different pill pressing machines, uh, which they sell counterfeit, right? They, 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 they sell that shit as if it's real oxy content. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people that actually believe that it's proper, right? It's fake M30s, fully laced with fentanyl, not original oxy content. So let's say you are a dad and you have a problem, an issue, you have strong pain, whatever. So you got, uh, you got proper Oxycontin by, by your doctor. And your daughter, teenager, whatever, finds the bottle, pops 10, goes out to school, and starts selling them. Because they're hot now. Everybody wants those parties, right? So now that shit is in the black market. That shit, it's real. And then another dude shows up and like, hey, I also have some M30s but half the price she's selling them. But these guys is bringing all the fake M30s from Mexico, yep. cheap stuff, like with fentanyl. So all your friends start doing that shit, which is cheaper and more easy to, to keep getting them until you get a fat one, then you're done. It sounds like the cartels are becoming so sophisticated and becoming so powerful that they're actually taking over a legitimate business. How are they kind of setting up within the United States? 
They started doing like great relationships, establishing relationships in the U.S., coming to the U.S., meeting clients in the U.S. The Sinaloa Cartel and, and the Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generación, most of their families are on this country. The daughters of, of El Mencho, leader of the Cartel Jalisco New Generation, they were born in, in, in the U.S., they're U.S. citizens. The sons of El Mayo, all of his sons, every single one of the sons of El Mayo Zambada has been arrested in this country and eventually uh, freed. And then when El Chapo escaped from prison, he was the one who helped rebuild, as you just mentioned, El Chapo's network because he gave him a cut because it was too dangerous for El Chapo to be doing the work himself. It will be naive to believe that they're not working for the organization, right? That they're just family. White woman, man, from a great place, great background, very well respected. She's the leader of the union, of the, of the state police or something in California. Segovia was arrested and charged with importing and selling drugs, including fentanyl, from October 2015 to January of this year. Court documents show at least 61 drug shipments were mailed to her home from India, China, and other foreign countries, then shipped out to dealers in other states. I just, I can't believe the cartels, the Sinaloa cartel is watching the Sean Ryan show.